Hey everybody, welcome to another video. <laughs> um, so I have a really good Bible study lesson that I'm going to do. But before I get to that, if you haven't watched my previous vlog, I did. Um, me and my husband went to Chattanooga, Tennessee for our anniversary trip. It was such a blast. We had a great time, lots of beautiful scenery. I think that's really my first time going in the mountains. So it was definitely worth it. It was absolutely amazing. So um, definitely watch that video. I also wanna do a quick shout out to one of the ladies at our church. Her name is Sister Evelyn. Um, she's been such a great support um, for me on this channel. She's definitely given me some really good resources like to help me. And I wanna say thank you so much for your support, your love, and thank you for watching. It means so much to me. And okay, so we're gonna get right into this video. All right, so this topic, a father to the fatherless, has been so near and dear to my heart. It is a part of my testimony. Um, and I kind of want to put this disclaimer out there before like, I get too into it. Um, a father to the fatherless does not exactly just mean somebody like me who was raised by a single mother. Me and my husband was having this conversation actually like the other day. Anybody who feels like their father didn't step in or their stepfather or whoever didn't step in in a time in their life or you know a season in their life or even their entire life that they didn't need them. Um, or maybe your father is going through so much in his own personal life that he doesn't know how to be a father to everybody else around him. So um, definitely know that everything that is taught in this lesson is for any of us out there. People who have been raised by you know their father but their father wasn't really there maybe physically or mentally. However, um, this lesson is for you. But before I go into the scriptures and everything, I do kind of want to talk a little bit about my story, my testimony. Um, so I was born and raised in Florida. Both of my parents are Trinidadian. And um, so growing up, I remember I always knew what my dad looked like. I knew pictures of him. I didn't know him personally. I think maybe when I was a child, he was there for a little bit. But um, not a child, like an infant, infant baby. Um, he was there for a little bit. But most of the time, it was just me and my mom. Uh, my brother and sister were teenagers when I was born. So they really, a few years of me, you know, being at home at in an infant or toddler stage, they moved out. So I don't really remember too much living with them. Um, so it was just always just been me and my mom. Um, my mom has been the absolutely most amazing mother that I know. She has definitely molded me to be like a strong, independent, like motivated woman that I am. And um, I honestly like, I don't know how she did it. I can't even handle my dog by myself. I don't know how she handled three children. <laughs> so I love you, mom. I know you're watching this. <laughs> Anyways, um, so it was always just me and my mom. So I didn't know what I was lacking in, in I didn't know what I was lacking with not having a father in my life um, because this was just my normal. Just me and my mother just always at home. And I just remember always in my life just thinking to myself like you know I wonder why me like why is it that I was a person or a young lady raised without a father and um, I know a lot of people young and older they probably think that you know I wonder what my life would have been like you know if I had a father there or I wonder what my life would have been like if my father was more present and not going through depression or just whatever um, the time that I feel like it hit me the most that I was raised by a single mother and I didn't have a father in my life was the time when I got married. Um, well, I was engaged. <laughs> and I remember me like just thinking about it and I told Mike one time, I said, you know, I feel like it's, I feel kind of nervous about this whole thing, you know, because I've never seen what it's like to have a man and a woman in the house. You know, I never seen and I don't know what it's like to be raised by a, you know, a father and a mother and see the dynamic of a marriage. Like I've I've never seen that. I never was raised around it. Like I said, it's always just been me and my mom, you know, so I always I was very like insecure and also really nervous about going into being married because I was like, I don't know what you know that's like I don't know what to expect I don't know what to do I don't know anything you know and I remember Mike telling me he said well 
why don't you just ask God and pray to him about giving you all the qualities and the things that you feel like you need to be a good wife? And um, I was like, you know what? Hey, I'll do that. In every aspect of our life, for people like me who have been raised without a father, we have to pray that God, whatever qualities or whatever things that I feel like I'm lacking, you know, I pray that you can give me that, you can fill that void. And I was reflecting on it and I was like, you know what, God has been a father to me in so, so many ways and he has filled that void. Um, there were times when both me and my mom, we didn't have enough money, you know, for maybe groceries and, you know, for rent and just whatever it is, just, you know, overall living. We really, really struggled and um, some of the seasons in our life. And I just always remember that God was always a provider. Just how you, a father and a mother, come together, whether the father is the main provider or however the dynamic is, he always contributes financially to that household. God always, 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 always provided for us. Um, I'm gonna read a scripture. All right, in, in Matthew 6, 26, it says, Look at the birds of the air, that they do not sow nor reap or gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. How much worthy are you? I think that is so beautiful. If God is able to provide for the animals, you know, how much more do you think that he will provide for you? In Luke 12, 29 through 31, it says, And do not seek what you will eat and what you will drink, and do not keep worrying for all these things the nations of the world eagerly seek. But your Father that knows your needs in all the things, but he seeks his kingdom, and these things will be added to you. And just like I said, he always provides. God is always a provider. And if you feel like there's times that you feel like you can't make it on your own or you see you're an, a teenager or a young adult and you see your parents struggling, well, just say, you know what, God, if he's my father, then he will take care of my mother. You know, I know if God is my father, then he will provide for our family, our household. Um, there was times when I was, you know, home alone because my mother, you know, she worked two, three jobs. And as when I was probably like middle school, I was kind of old enough to stay at the house by myself, get my homework done, whatever. We lived in pretty, you know, good neighborhoods as, you know, I was older. But, you know, God was always a protector. You know, he always kept his hands of protection upon me, you know. I ha our house could have burnt down or something dramatic or crazy could have happened in that very moment but God was always a protector you know when I would walk home from the bus you know how maybe a father goes and picks up his kids from the bus stop like God was right there with me he was always protecting me he was always um you know there when I needed him when I was always dealing with things in my personal life, you know, from this point all the way to when I was younger, I always remember turning to God to, for advisement. You know, I'll be like, God, how do you think I should handle this situation? And I don't always just hear his audible voice saying, you should do this, you know, but oftentimes like the situation will occur and all of a sudden I handle it, you know, with wisdom or I handle it the way that I know that you know, only God would instruct me or push me in the direction to handle that situation. You know, he can be your advisement when you feel like you don't have anybody else or when you feel like, you know, you don't want to turn to your mother because you think she's going to be mad or emotional, you know, but you can always turn to God just how you would turn to your father. Deuteronomy 8 verse 5, it says, Thus you know that in your heart that the Lord God was disciplining you just as a man disciplines his son. In Proverbs 3 11 through 12 it says my son do not reject the discipline of the lord or an oath of repro reproof for whom the lord loves he reproves even even as a father corrects his son in whom he delights a father he disciplines his children if they're doing something that they don't need to be doing or he they do something that is going to be detrimental to something future in their life you know he'll say hey listen i'm gonna put you in check okay and you're not gonna like it you're not gonna like how this feels but the reason why you might be struggling financially is because i don't want you to make these same mistakes later down the line or the reason why you might be feeling like you're just overwhelmed and you're stressed and you can't handle everything is because 
I never created you to handle and you know deal with all the stress so guess what until you can figure out how to give it to me I'm just gonna allow this to keep happening in your life there was times like when I was really scared about certain situations you know that God has always given me comfort and reassurance you know like getting married um you know, I was really scared about me and the type of wife that I was going to be, you know, because I didn't see that example. But, you know, God, he's given me so much comfort and peace and knowledge, you know, and resources, you know, to be a better wife. Um, and there's times when I've been scared about what direction I'm going to take in my life or, you know, scared about how I'm going to get certain things done. You know, and even when you're younger, you're scared about a lot of other things that, you know, are more simple. Like maybe you're home by yourself and you're here to knock on the door and the dog is barking. And you're like, oh, my gosh, she's at the door. You know, but God always gives you that peace, that comfort and that reassurance that, you know, everything is going to be OK, that he will take care of you. In Luke 11, 13, it says, if you then being evil knows how to give good gifts to your children then how more will your heavenly father give unto them who the holy spirit asks for them i love that scripture because you know i think about like the best gifts that i've ever been given you know from whether it's from my husband or my mom or whoever and what i love about that verse is that if I, if they can give me amazing gifts, then how much more of a gift can my father give me? You know, how much more than my, than God can give me, you know? And to me, gifts aren't always material things, but gifts are just, just so many blessings in your life, you know? I look at my life and I just think how blessed I am because God is my father, you know? How blessed I am because I know somebody who has all the money in the world. I know somebody who can take care of me, who loves me, you know, more than anybody or anything in this world. And I just want to be an encouragement to anybody today and just let them know, like, you know, whatever you're going through, that God is your father. You know, he will provide, he will take care of you. You know, whenever you're down or you feel like you're anxious or depressed or whatever it is, that God is there to turn to you. The beautiful thing about him being your father is that you can just how you feel like you can talk easily to your father you know you can talk easily to god when times when you feel like you don't know what direction to go you don't know what to do you don't know where your life is going you're scared you're uncomfortable whatever you can turn to god like that's what he's asking for thank you guys so much for watching today i hope that this was an encouragement to you guys and if you have any topics or anything that you would like for me to talk about um you can always make a comment in the comments you know about something that's on your heart or you want to you know learn more about get a different perspective on um also on my instagram account sometimes um people dm me and are like hey can you talk about this or hey i think this would be a good idea so um definitely let me know thank you guys so much for your support your love and you guys have a blessed day bye